Hey everyone, welcome back and we're, we're actually starting a new unit. We're talking about patterns and equations this time and we're going to be looking at stuff called input output machines and just imagine a machine and numbers going into it, going in one end and coming out the other and just kind of like a factory. So uh, just looking at this input output machine, any number that is put into this machine is multiplied by 5. That's what's telling me on the dial there. So when you input 6, the output is 30. So if I put in 6, goes in beep, boop, 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 6 times 5 and out comes a 30. Okay. Well, what if you put in not a 6, but you put in a 9? What is going to come out that other end? What is going to end up right there? Okay. So, how about you build your own? So, we have our own input output machine. You don't have to draw that very fancy thing. You can just draw uh, an arrow going into a box and coming out the other end. That's, that's quite fine to be your input output machine. And I want you to choose a number to go in your machine. I do recommend you start with one, two, and three. I want you to choose the operation. So are you gonna add, subtract, divide? What are you gonna what are you gonna have coming out the other you know to have something come out the other end? And so looking at the table there, if you could input one, two, and three, I want you to figure out what is the output that's gonna be on that and we're gonna enter it in that table there. Okay, so we're going to use an input output machine to make a growing pattern and we're going to talk about pattern rules today. This machine adds 8 to each input to get the output. So if I input 1 into the machine, I'm going to output 9. If I input a 2, I'm going to get a 10. If I input a 3, I'm going to get 11, etc. Okay, so we have some pattern rules we have to talk about. We have to talk about the pattern rule that relates to the input to the output. And essentially we're just adding 8 to the input. Okay. So when each input increases by one, the output increases by one. If you see that, that the input column is going up by one each time and the output column is also going up by one each time. So if we do that eight each time, both we're gonna go up by one. So we're, we also can have a pattern rule for both the input and the output, okay? So let's describe the pattern rule for the input. We're gonna start at one right here. That's the first number here. And we're gonna go up by one each time. So that's our pattern rule. We we say this. We start at whatever number it is and we and we do something. So the pattern rule for the input is we start at one, we go up by one each time. Let's talk about the output pattern rule. We start at nine and we go up by one each time. Okay, so we have three three rules to describe. We describe the input output connection, and that is we add eight to the input and both will increase by one. The pattern rule for the input is we start at one, we go up by one each time. The pattern rule for the output is we start at nine, we go up by one each time. Okay, um, so let's talk about this. How about you figure this out? What is, I want you to complete the table first and then I want you to name some pattern rules here. Pause it for a sec, see if you can figure that out. Okay, so we have a pattern rule of the input to the output we multiply three to the input to get the output. That's what we're kind of saying, okay? So if I input one, one times three, the output is gonna be three. If I input two, two times three is six. If I input three, three times three is, the output's gonna be nine. You know, if I do four times three, the output's gonna be 12, okay? So we have some pattern rules to describe. We gotta describe the pattern rule for the input. The input is we start at one, we add one each time. That's kind of like the same as the last one. And the output pattern rule, we start at three and we add three each time. So again, it's pattern, rule for, pattern rule for input is start at one, add one each time. Pattern rule for output is start at three, add three each time. Okay. Oh my goodness, what happened? Oh, this is this is getting crazy. We have two, two, two input output operations here. Oh boy, okay, so this input output machine doubles the input, so it's gonna multiply by two and then add six. Wow, okay, let's see. Let's see if our table matches here. If I input a two, two times two, boo 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 boo, we got a four. Well, four is gonna move into the next part of the machine and we add six and we get an output of 10 and that looks like that could work. Okay, so let's talk about some pattern rules here. The pattern rule that relates the input to the output is we're gonna multiply the input by two and then add six. 
It's just basically describing the operations on the machine. But let's talk about some pound rules for the input. We're, the pound rule for the input this time is we start at two and we're adding two each time. And the pattern rule for the output is we're starting at 10 and we're adding four each time, okay? So we can have multiple operations going on in these, in these input output machines. All right, so here we got an input output machine that quadruples or multiplies by four and then adds four each time. And you can see that we have an input output table and let's hope that it, that it works. Maybe we should we should check that. Let's put in four, four times four, boo 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 boo. We get a uh, sixteen. Four times four is sixteen. If that moves to the next part of the machine, sixteen plus four is twenty. So it looks like so far it is working. So the pattern rule that relates the input to the output, or again we're describing the machine, is we multiply the input by four and then add four. We have some blanks here. I want you to fill in the blanks here. The pattern rule for the input is start at blank, add blank each time. What do you think? Well, yeah, you're right. Start at four and add four each time. Okay. What's the pattern rule for the output? Hmm, let me think about that. The pattern rule for the output is start at blank, add blank each time. If you said start at 20 and add 16 each time, you are correct. Well, that's really it. We're just using input output machines and we're using tables to describe pattern rules. So again, I want to remind you and always remind you that in life, math happens. Take care, guys.